I know what it was like, you know, to not have any hope. Before transplant, it was pretty hard, but it's, it's so much different now. It really is. And I want people to know that. I want people to know that there's another life. There's a better life. That's the one without sickle cell, really. Sickle cell disease is an inherited blood disorder that affects people, primarily African descent, but also other areas of the world. Children are born with it, and it affects the red blood cells. Since blood travels everywhere in your body, sickle cell disease affects every part of a child's body. And its hallmark symptom is pain. And the pain can be very excruciating, causing a lot of disruption in school, work, and leads to a poor quality of life for many of our patients. Well, sickle cell has been around for over 110 years, and during the first 100 years of its existence, there's only been one FDA-approved drug for sickle cell disease. Children's National Hospital is one of the leading centers for participating in clinical trials for sickle cell disease for bone marrow transplant to minimize the amount of chemo, and we are also in another trial with non-opioid treatment for sickle cell disease pain. When I turned 17, this is when my single cell really took a turn for the worst, honestly. I had started college. I was trying to, you know, work and everything, but single cell just came and swept all that away, you know. Nasir was referred to our institution because of the severity of his sickle cell disease. He unfortunately suffered a lot of severe pain crises and was really interested in transplant to um, improve his disease. When I found out about the clinical trial, I felt ecstatic, really. Nasir's treatment has really transformed his, his life, particularly looking at his blood. After the treatment, he's no longer anemic. He has a completely normal hemoglobin, and most of his hemoglobin is non-sickle hemoglobin. Children's National has really been a participant in all the kind of major clinical trials that have really transformed the lives of, of children with sickle cell disease. We are leading a multi-site clinical trial of a chemotherapy-free transplant approach for sickle cell disease using a matched sibling donor. Before transplant, I couldn't walk, run, couldn't participate in sports, hang out with friends. But after receiving gene therapy, my hemoglobin has almost doubled. I have all this new oxygen in my body, all this, like, just new energy. It's really a new life. Sickle cell disease can have a profound impact on the quality of life of children and their parents. As a social worker in the sickle cell program at Children's National Hospital, I advocate for the needs um, and well-being of patients and families within the healthcare system, but also in the broader community. We have such an amazing team. We have one of the largest sickle cell programs in the country and everyone is committed to providing the best care possible. Around the age of three, I was Kendrick's first real crisis. I had never seen a child go through that much pain. We could not touch his limbs. That's when we knew that we needed to form a different type of relationship with his providers. But once we were connected to Children's, they gave us reassurance, lots of hope, and just made us feel like we were part of a family. We're excited because there is a curative-like therapy, and that's called gene therapy. And both of these gene therapy products was FDA approved in December of 2023. We are in awe of how quickly things are moving, how much compassion we've been shown. He's in line to actually receive the genetic cure. And so it's our hope that he's able to really just thrive in his life. Giving is so important because it really allows us to best take care of the child with sickle cell disease. And that goes from supporting the family, having adequate psychosocial services, to advancing research and having the research infrastructure to really you know, take sickle cell disease to the next level. I'm excited for children and young adults in the future to have a life without sickle cell disease. Thank you, all of you, for your generous support. It helps all of our kids seen here at Children's National Hospital.